What is up guys and welcome back to some COD gameplay, this time we're on Crash and actually the game, it didn't go too bad for us, we did actually get more deaths than kills but not too many and we actually got um, quite a few kills to be fair so this game I think is quite entertaining um, but anyway on to the commentary now and obviously I think the big thing to talk about um, football wise is in the last couple of days is obviously the England and France game now I would have probably talked about in my um, Wednesday episode as the game was on Tuesday night but I did that commentary on Monday, um, meaning I was talking about the Scotland and you know England game and how that, how, how my opinion on that, and how it obviously turned out. So today, I know it's obviously like three days later, but it will I will be kind of having my take on the England and France match, and it wasn't a bad game to be fair. You know England played semi all right to say that you know France going into the game was just. Um, matched as being the winner and there was going to thrash us and you know looking at it on paper and how the French players have played this season and all the upcoming talent they have you, you could probably say on paper they was going to thrash us but you know it ended up being 3-2 in the end um, I think we'll tell that I mean to be fair though they did go down to 10 men um, quite early on in the second half so you know we played a, about 40 minutes maybe even 45 at a time um, against 10 men and they still lost I mean in the Scotland game it was kind of the opposite you know we was don't get me wrong for me the English defence in my generation what I've been watching England so far England defenders haven't been that good you know their defence is never the best and attacking wise they're not bad but you know in these two games attacking wise um, against Scotland they weren't actually that good you know it took them a long time to score a goal against Scotland but this game against France they weren't bad but defensively against Scotland and France they was quite poor and you know it, we, like I said you know for me since watching England from a young lad the England need to sort out the defence because they're just done. You're just not very good defenders, and I don't know why. Um, Kyle Walker, I don't know what he was doing in this game, but he got absolutely shredded by Mpape. Bertrand had a good game, to be fair. I thought he did all right. Um, you know, he, he even though he was kind of sub before, you know, subbed at half time. Um, I still thought he, you know, he, he did a job. Um, defensively, Cahill was so bad. He really was. He, he was just. I don't know what he, he was doing. I, 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 it, it was so bad. You know, it, and, and John Stones as well. For some reason, and Pape were just sending them to the shop all the time. And they were just diving in and, um, you know, not even trying to win the ball. It, it just, you know, it was very frustrating to watch. The, t the centre back partnership for me was, it was bloody awful. It really was. Um, Tommy Eaton, to be fair to him, he didn't do too bad actually. Um, you know, the first goal. He, he saved it well, he could have maybe just tapped it a bit more, you know, around the post and out, because obviously that led to the first goal with a tap in, and then um, the second goal was kind of similar, but, you know, with reflex saves, um, it is kind of like hard to obviously uh, master that skill of knocking the ball away from any um, danger with regards to players running in, because obviously you just have a second to react to the ball, because you don't know where it's going to go, so, you know, goalkeepers in that part do have a hard job, and to be fair, the first two goals um, was kind of in that manner, obviously, and, you know, it, it you know the defence again didn't really help, um, obviously, I think it was Umtiti who got the first one, then Sadibi got the second one, and, uh, you know, two defenders actually, to be fair, because Sadibi's a right back, Umtiti's a centre back, and then obviously, um, you know, Kane's and England's first goal, it was quite a nice work goal. Deli Alli played a brilliant ball to uh, Sterling. Sterling held up well for Bertrand's run. Bertrand's ball was a brilliant ball into the six-yard box. Um, you know, obviously, Lorries couldn't go for it, and there was Kane with a tapping. So it was a nice work goal, to be fair. And when they went up that early, I was kind of thinking, you know, we, we might get some E. You never know. You know, we can give them a good game. But obviously, um, they went and scored in the 22nd minute, then the 43rd, and then obviously half time, going in at 2 1. Um, to be fair, I mean, obviously, like I said at the start of the episode, you didn't really expect to win France, and we gave them a good game in the first half, I thought. You know, again, defensively, it was not the best, but, um, you know, attacking-wise, weren't doing too bad. Obviously, the, the middle two, um, which was also Chamberlain and, and Dyer, um, Dyer, again, for me, it's just not a centre-mid. You can't play him in a two. It just does not not work. He's either a centre-back or a holding midfielder. I talked about this in um, the Scotland about the Scotland game. 
He's just too defensive. He's got nothing going up front at all. And then Oxley chamberlain who's meant to create a lot in that midfield, who's actually not a centre-mid anyway, um, even though he has played a bit there this season for Arsenal. The thing is, he's the only really one that's in the middle that's trying to attack. And, you know, it kind of leaves him a bit, um, you know, on his own. Um, Dyer's not really there kind of supporting him because he's staying back a bit and it kind of leaves him a bit vulnerable and to be fair Oxford Chamberlain didn't have the best of games uh, he had quite a poor game to be fair he was probably one of the worst players on the field he kept on losing the ball um, he wasn't doing that good but the thing is like I said the system for him just it just wasn't working for him because he was on his own a lot and you know obviously that's why he probably had quite a poor game and give the ball away a lot um, Harry Kane you know, obviously captain the side again didn't do too bad got these two goals um, obviously you know it, for me in when he plays for Spurs him and Deli Alli are just like clockwork they just play so well together link up so well but with England it's I don't, I don't know if it's to do with Ali playing in a different position um, Kane just seems a bit more static they don't seem to play as well together for England um, I don't know if what the manager obviously Gareth Southgate tells Ali to do but for me um, them two just don't link with each other like they do for Tottenham and then obviously Ali I thought had an alright game to be fair like I said he set up the goal the penalty you know, I, I, I don't know. It was very minimal contact, you know. Um, the it actually went to TV replay, which, you know, is now going to be a new thing. But still, there was very minimal contact, and I still don't know if it was a penalty or not. Um, so, yeah, Sterling also had a really good game. He was probably the best player on the field, actually. You know, he created a lot. Um, you know, he did very, very well, to be fair. And he was a lot of the your part of our part of driving force going forward. And, um, yeah, obviously the subs that came on, um, Butler didn't really have much to do I mean he pulled off a few saves obviously he was in the net when they got the third from Dembele to be fair I've got to say watching these young Frenchmen they are class aren't they and Pape absolutely ruined us um, Dembele should have probably got him maybe a hat trick um, Lamar he had a good game as well Giroud even had quite a good game to be fair Pogba and Kante was you know pretty much brilliant in the midfield um, obviously the only kind of downside to that French side is the defence but you know the defence was still good and to say that they've come away with a 3-2 win against England um, with playing with 10 men for about 40-45 minutes you know it's, it's pretty good so you know the, the future is very very bright for this French side and it's kind of damaging to see that because you know we've kind of given a good match up against Fran French teams in the past but you know I think in the next maybe five to ten years, they're just going to run riot with the all the talent they have. But anyway, that's my um, opinion on the game. Obviously, you see us did get defeated, 75 to 50. But, like I said, I didn't do too bad. I actually finished with 13 for 15. So, um, for me, for, for my kind of COD skills, I, I, I didn't think I did too bad. And that was a quite, quite good uh, kill cam as well from this sniper guy. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you have, please like and subscribe if you are new. Guys, I'll see you later. Peace.